This is a Heathkit TE one. It's from the 50s, I believe. Bakelite knobs. Tubes are in there. Let's have a look. Yeah, there you can see some tubes. It's mono. It used to be used with tape machines. I think reel-to-reels. Probably. I don't know if this is a VU meter that's supposed to be activating. Let me turn on some, put some audio through it. So I don't know if that's supposed to be activating right now and lighting up somehow. I'm honestly not sure. I haven't looked into this machine. I don't know if it's uh, in perfect working condition. I know it passes a signal. I'm going to show you a few things about putting the signal through just in a second here. But the overall condition is, I'd say, almost mint. There's a few small things. Let me take a look here. Like this. And a few nicks here. The knobs themselves are in amazing condition. The faceplate has no scratches. Go around to this side here. Oops, sorry about that. Go around to this side here. I'm going to turn it around. It's not a big unit. It's not particularly heavy. It's got a funky, funky design on the case, that's for sure. So then we go to the back here, we see some more tubes. And yeah, probably this could use a going over. I don't think it's been maintained in a long time. Look at the feet on it. It looks like a piece of furniture. That's what it reminds me of. Fascinating piece. I like this one. So yeah, there's some... Let me get as much as I can of the inside here so you can have an idea. And if you're into this kind of equipment and know about tubes and this era and solid state and all that jazz, then these images might help you a lot. I don't know. But it also gives you an idea of the overall condition of it. So let's look at this. This tells us some information here. Monoral tape electrics. So it's a mono I line input record head, erase head. I can put, I haven't tried the, the mic. I found that these, this is the only combination that I could get to pass the signal through right here. Which when I look at this label here, that seems to add up. It's made in Michigan, if you can believe that. So let's turn it back around and I'm going to show you about how it behaves when I pass a signal through. So you've already heard, a, come on, there we go. You've already heard the signal going through it. And that's at a pretty decent volume on here. That's quite loud for this unit. Let's go on over here, and this is at a good level, the speaker. And this is just not passing the full strength. And when I adjust this lever here, you'll hear the difference. Goes into that mode where it overloads the speaker. And then if I back it off just a bit. There we go. And then it'll keep that volume and then it'll drop off, fades down. Now is that a capacitor that's been dried out? I don't know, but uh, maybe you know about that. But it does pass a signal as you can see. So let's hear this, you can really hear the... Really overdrives it nicely. Sounds great to me. I like that kind of sound. And it does add a lot of color. So if you're going to be using this for recording, putting synths or voices through, I've heard that they are really good for passing a mic through with a vocalist. Over here we have the different selections. And we have, interestingly, we have EQ settings. So right now it's on the brighter of the two. This is a little flatter. Listen. So I like the, t oh, this is the strange lever here. So if it's not on play, it doesn't. And it's, it's like, it's likely got something to do with the way that, oh, well, there we go. Okay, so it probably has something to do with the way that I have it hooked up at the back. I may not even have it hooked up for the most, 
appropriate way to use it. I don't know. But uh, yeah, sounds pretty good. This one doesn't work right now with uh, with what I have set up on the back, the settings. But, oh, sorry. There we go. But this here is the off on-off switch. And there we go. Let's get a better shot of the faceplate here and everything. That's a real beaut. I didn't notice. Did this light turn on when... Yep, there we go. Yeah, real sweetie, this one. So yeah, there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. This is the Heathkit TE1.